Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I'm going to provide you guys with some information related to iOS 6.0.2 and 6.1, as well as the jailbreak status for all of my viewers who are asking about it. Now, all right, for those of you who don't know, iOS 6.0.2 was released yesterday for the iPhone 5 as well as the iPad mini. So it is exclusive to these two iOS-based devices. And if you're familiar with Apple, you'll know they hate fragmentation, and that's one of the main reasons why they start to phase out iOS devices after releasing new ones aside from trying to get people to upgrade to the newest and the latest iOS based device. But the main point is that Apple tries to stray away from fragmentation as much as possible, which seems rather odd that they would only release 6.0.2 for two different iOS based devices when they have other devices as well that did not get the upgrade to 6.0.2. Now at this point you may be asking, well what does 6.0.2 do? Well essentially it only fixes a bug that could impact Wi-Fi. As you can see I have a screenshot here that's just of the settings application and it's of the software update portion of the settings application and again as you can see this 6.0.2 update only addresses a bug that could affect the Wi-Fi connectivity of either the iPhone 5 or the iPad mini. So while most will be able to update through iOS's built-in over-the-air update feature some users will actually have to plug their device into their computer download the software update via iTunes and actually install it that way and the reason for that again is that this addresses an unnamed bug bug which does affect the Wi-Fi connectivity. So one main theory as to why Apple would release a new firmware for only two devices is that they're trying to prepare for iOS 6.1 so that all users will be able to use Apple's over-the-air update feature to actually upgrade to 6.1 which should be released in the near future. A day before Apple pushed out 6.0.2 they actually ceded iOS 6.1 beta 4 to developers so we're getting closer to the release of 6.1. Now let's talk about the possibility of a jailbreak for 6.0.2. Essentially, I'm just going to be blunt and say that there will not be a jailbreak for 6.0.2. Again, it's only for two of Apple's latest iOS-based devices, and as of now, the only real jailbreak for iOS 6 and 6.0.1 is the tethered jailbreak using Red Snow, which only encompasses the iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, and the fourth generation iPod Touch. Again, because it uses a boot ROM exploit that was discovered by GeoHot, the Lime Rain exploit, which has since been been patched with the release of later devices and it continues to function on again the iPhone 4, the iPhone 3GS and the fourth generation iPod Touch because it's a hardware exploit and the only way that Apple can patch hardware exploits is by releasing new iOS devices which obviously they've done since the A4 powered iPhone and iPod Touch. Now as for iOS 6.1 it will be jailbreakable as soon as it's released via Red Snow again that tethered jailbreak for only the iPhone 4, 3GS as well as the fourth generation iPod Touch. Now for those of you who are wondering about a jailbreak for all other 